Welcome back to episode two of our New Zealand Miller Foray paint along. Which section are we going to paint first? So I remove the light box and remove the pattern. Looks like we're going to paint that top little circle with a sunset or actually it's a sunrise because New Zealand is the first place to have the sun come up in the morning. So on New Year's Day, they're the first country to have the new year and welcome it in. I've jumped right in with my emerald green and the small pointy brush, which uh, if you've bought the kit, that's the one I've supplied for you. I did try a different brush halfway through this process and decided that the detail in this design required the pointy brush only. Hence, that's what comes in the kit. Now I've dived into the emerald. Now I've dived into the indigo. And just remember, all the painting that you're seeing is at double speed. So yes, I'm quick, but yeah, not that quick. <laughs> This is the burgundy I used for that little hill and there was still some indigo on my brush so you can see there's that slight colour change. And now I've jumped into the turquoise. So you could choose to paint along with me or even just watch this video and write on your pattern what colours I used where, ready for you to then go to your um, workstation and actually paint the different areas. I've now grabbed the pearl blue. I've decided that turquoise needs a bit of variation. It was a bit too bright. Cleaning that brush because now we're going to dive into some sunset gold for the little sun that's peeping up there. And every second ray of sunshine. Just work methodically so you don't make an oops <laughs> with your alternation. You can see I really quite squeeze that brush down. I put the tip down in the pointy bit of the shape and then move the brush up and squeeze it down so that you get the uh, bristles spreading out to fill the wider space. But you just use that point when you just want um, a small, very small space to be filled with the colour. These Lumiere paints are just so creamy and smooth and they cover so well. You can see here painting onto the black fabric, there's no need for two layers or anything like that. Uh, even white can paint on the black and be completely white. It's because of the metallic and pearlescent elements of the colour that it doesn't just sink into the fabric and disappear. It actually sort of stays on the surface, but because it is designed for fabric, it doesn't make it super stiff, not as plasticky as you might think acrylic paint might leave the fabric. You might also notice that I'm particularly leaving little black gaps. So rather than painting right up to, uh, you know, one shape next to the other, I'm trying to leave a very small black gap. So basically the width of the pencil, the Panda pencil, when I trace the design. And I'll explain what that does tomorrow. I think that's it for today. There you go. See you all tomorrow.